Hey team, I've got a bit of a heavy one for you today, something to really think about and go a bit deeper with, okay? So in the corporate world, okay, or in bigger companies, scaling companies, there's a normal trend of moving from generalist to specialist. So an engineer that a company has at a million dollars won't be the same engineer maybe that they have when they're at a hundred million dollars. They'll have 14 different types of engineers, for example, versus the one guy earlier on who could do a bunch of different stuff, okay? That's true in any scaling, growing organization, really for everybody. But when you're in that startup phase, when you're in the beginning stages, or even if you've been doing it a little while in your business, you've been running your business, you founded your business, um, but you're not getting where you want to be, understand that you probably, very likely, come from that specialist background you're really good at the thing you do that's why you went and started your business you got probably got fed up with how things were run or didn't like the way they were making decisions or thought you could do it better or wanted to bring a new innovative product to or service to the community you didn't like what was happening or felt constrained in some ways so you decided to strike out on your own the problem with that or the challenge in that that is unknown, unobserved by most people is you got to go the other way. You've got to go from specialist to generalist, okay? And not generalist in, in a general, general term, but generalist in a sense of a business, okay? You're good at the thing you do, but if you're like me, you go out and you figure out pretty quickly, oh, there's a bunch of moving parts of the business that I really don't know enough about. So you're a specialist. You're really good at that. In a big organization, you're surrounded by other specialists and you get to fall back on them, right? You don't necessarily have to pay the bills or do the marketing, whatever. You have different people doing those other things that you didn't do. When you go out on your own, you have to broaden your view and get really good or at least good enough at a bunch of different things. You have to become a generalist. So those things are things like marketing, budgeting, selling, paying the bills, collecting payments, you know, and a thousand other things. Now notice I said good or good enough, not great. Good enough so that you make sure they get done, okay? And good enough so that you can find people who are really good at and great at those tasks, at those things that they do, so you can offload those tasks, okay? You can get them off your plate eventually. As you grow, as you get a little bit more money in, you get more clients, you can start taking those things off your plate. But in the, in the beginning, unless you have a ton of funding right from the get-go, you probably have to do a bunch of that stuff yourself. Now, if you aren't good enough at those things, then how do you assess when and where somebody else is? Okay, how do you assess their skills? And if you can't judge them based on those skill sets, now we're, you know, we're gonna be looking at vision and values and other stuff too when you bring them on your team, but they gotta be good enough for you or they and really better than you at these different specialties so that you can get off your plate and you can trust them. But if you're not good enough at it and you don't know how to assess that, you're going to end up offloading and, and um, you know, delegating to people who are really good salespeople, good interviewers, um, not necessarily really highly skilled at the thing that you need done really well. So be cautious. And that's why I say you have to kind of become a generalist for a while and get good enough at these things. Now, having said that, there are some things that you're going to want to be great at. There's some new things in addition to the thing that you do, whatever that is, that you're going to want to become a specialist at. And those are things like vision, strategy, managing and leading people. You're going to be working on solving the psychological puzzles that nobody else is solving, okay? Nobody else is working on. So these are the things that you're going to continue to do for years to come, right? Vision, strategy, managing, leading people, psychological puzzle solving, so don't think you have to be great at them right away, okay? For your business to really grow, to really reach its full potential, you are going to have to master these things. In addition, again, to that thing that you're passionate about that you do. Just know that you'll continue to work on these things. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You don't have to master them all right now. You start taking them one at a time, you tackle them, and you, know, you work through them. And this is also why it makes a lot of sense to get someone on your side who's been down this road before. Now, be careful though, because you don't want to hire somebody or partner with somebody or, or, you know, get a mentor who simply tells you to do the things that they did, right? Times have changed, context has changed. Your journey is different. 
So you want somebody that you can work with that will help you figure those things out for yourself, that will guide you on your journey, that will help you with the component parts, the infrastructure of what those things are, how to build a vision, how do we plan strategy, but your vision, your strategy, all those parts, your people, your hiring, they're all going to be a little bit different. They're going to have a different flavor. They're going to be different for your business. And that's why you've got to figure it out, create repeatable processes so that you don't have to continue to make these decisions over and over. Okay. So get somebody who's going to help you navigate your journey and get good at the things that you need to do that you will continue to do for years to come and get good enough at the stuff so you can assess and see what other people are doing and really make sure you're bringing the right people onto your team. Hope that's helpful. I would love to hear your comments, questions, stories, challenges that you've experienced when, um, you know, looking for folks or acquiring the skills or offloading stuff off your plate. Thanks.